So I've been interested in the arts since I was very small. Um, when I was a little kid, I did lots of weird things with my toys. I had these plastic dinosaurs and I had Barbies as most small kids do. But what I would do is I would make armor for my Barbies and then send them into battle on the dinosaurs. I liked to kind of cross pollinate all of my interests. So that carried on into me always drawing, painting things, putting things together, taking things apart. And then I was very fortunate to have high school teachers that actually pushed me, you know, towards going to college for art. I went to Salem State University, the witch city, Salem, Massachusetts, seemed like a good place for me to be. As an artist, my preferred medium is woodcut printmaking. It's the oldest form of printmaking. It's been around for about 2,000 years. I primarily do darker stuff, so Halloween things, spooky things, horror-oriented things, things that go bump in the night. But I also am trained in formal portraiture and more realistic figurative work, too, so I have different bodies of work that I kind of gravitate back and forth between. That led me to graduate school in Detroit to a very weird, prestigious private program at a school called Cranbrook Academy of Art. Cranbrook has jokingly been called Hogwarts for artists. Uh, it is a really beautiful, isolated campus with 382 acres of grounds. There are great theaters, there are fountains, there are sculptures, there's crazy architecture. There is a great hall that does geotag as Hogwarts. And not too long after, Carol had this opportunity open up and I saw a really unique chance to give back to the town that I grew up in. To have arts at a college like Carroll, to have a gallery space that people from the community as well as people from inside Carroll can come and enjoy art, that's invaluable. You, you can't measure how important something like that on a campus is. There's a lot that goes into installing and curating and coordinating an exhibition. I personally do studio visits with almost every artist that shows here. I don't like to just reach out to somebody that I've found online because I like to see the work in person and open a dialogue with the artist and get what they're about before I then invite them to show here. Finding people that I think will be good in the space, that I think students will respond well to, or that I think will spark engaging discussion. Teaching art is an interesting challenge. My main methodology is to allow students to embrace their innate creativity and then push out in, in the ways that seem best for them. Because not all students are gonna be creative in the same way. They're not all gonna look at the same thing and see the same thing. Now, I love having a nursing student or having an engineering student because they're bringing a different kind of brain into the classroom. And you get really interesting results from having so many different minds work together creatively on something. And then here they are falling in love with art at Carroll. And that's pretty incredible.